So my whole life, people have always told me that electricity and water don't mix. But I am a man of science. I don't take people's words for things. I, I got to see the evidence. So today, we're going to find out how well electricity and water really mix. And actually, if this ends up being boring, I have 2.1 kilovolts that I'm going to shove through this water if nothing exciting happens. Oh my god. All right, so I'm going to start with um, distilled water because it uh, has very few minerals in it, so it will be the least conductive of all the waters. And so if this goes horribly, I probably won't upgrade to tap water, which of course, cotton with tap water is just beautiful. <laughs> There's all kinds of calcium and stuff in there, so. Oh my god. I've been to do this my whole life. Nothing. Let me get my clamp hand in here. Nothing. Does the cord work? Um, the cord, I, I'm fairly certain works, but what we can do. $40? Yep, I abused the crap out of this thing. It still chugs along. All right, so we want, it's actually really accurate too. I, let's see. Ah, there you go. Okay. We know our cord's working, we know our screwdriver's conductive, so what we're going to do is we're going to clean this off, and then we're going to upgrade drinking water. Oh, hey, got some water right here to clean it off with. All right, isn't that convenient? Yes, very convenient. <laughs> I'll even dry it slightly for you. Thank you. Just just in case the dirt was what was preventing this from ending horribly. No, nothing. Ah, we got 120. Okay, so we are indeed working. Eyeball it real good before you plug it in. All right, this is uh, drinking water. It's going to be slightly more conductive. Nothing. So I assume we're going to have the same for tap water. I'm probably not even going to try that. I think it's time to step up to uh, 2.1 kilovolts. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in the wall just as is, and I'm going to show you what 2,000 volts look like. Once you get an appreciation for what we're handling, then I'm going to shove it in the water. And what is the effect on the water? Uh, current is going to go through the, through the water. This is like a, kind of a resistor. And so if you take these two wires and you just touch them together, there's no resistance. Electri electricity flows, you get tons of amperage, all kinds of heat, that's when you have a problem. You stick this through here, it's just a resistor. You just get electricity flow through the water and it's just less amperage because it has more resistance. Same thing when you take like a light bulb or an electric motor and you plug it in the wall, it has higher resistance and so it's not a dead short. There's enough resistance that not an unreasonable amount of amperage flows. And of course, the amount of amperage that does flow goes towards making whatever it is work. I moved this out of my way so they don't have too many cords up in my space distracting me because, I mean, 2,000 volts, I don't want to be distracted. So, all right, first thing we're going to do, now these are the, these, these are for the, these two here are for the filament on the um, magnetron. Those don't really do anything interesting. This is what we want here. This is the 2,100 volts and probably like half an amp. Let's, let's, let's find out. This thing draws like stacks of electricity, I'll tell you what. I don't want to burn this up. See, what I do is I adjust the setting. So let's say I have this on the, I can show you, so the 6 amp setting. So when I say 6 amp, what I mean is that number up at the top there is uh, 6. I don't know if you can see it. And so that top number is 6. So that means if I have 30 amps and the, the very top of the scale is 6, that means the needle is going to come up here and it's going to slam up at the top and it's probably going to burn out the little thing that makes that needle move. So when I put this up on the 300 amp setting, it's right up here, the top of the scale is 300. That way, if I get, you know, 50 amps, it's going to come up here, it's not going to burn out my coil in there. And I don't, I, of course, clamp amp meters are expensive, so I don't want to burn it out. You want to do the same thing with if you have a manual multimeter, which you really don't want to buy a manual multimeter because you don't want to have to screw around with it. If you want an automatic one like the one I have, $40 at Radio Shack. I was not paid to say that. I love Radio Shack multimeters. If Radio Shack ever goes out of business, which they might, they're doing horribly, I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a lifetime supply of uh, these multimeters so I have enough to last me the rest of my life because I really like them. I, I don't think I've ever owned a better uh, multimeter. All right, this is where it gets scary. Oh, oh yeah, that's, a, that's a, like an amp and a quarter. So that's, that's pretty intense. Here, let me... What is going to happen whenever you touch the water with it? Isn't that pretty? No. I think that you should go get your gloves. All right, here it goes. Oh my God. Oh, that's nice. The surface tension of the water makes it difficult to just balance it and get a nice steady arc. And see, now we're closer, so there's less resistance, and so it's easier to sustain an arc because they have more amperage.
zoom. <laughs> Did you like melt molten metal it? hanging off there. This is steel. I just melted steel with water. How's that for a fun afternoon? Can I come over here and look at it? Oh, it just broke off. There, where my finger is. That's that's the chunk of steel that melted off of here. Famous last words. That little that little C shape that's right there. That, that that's molten steel that just fell off and cooled off. All right. So which one are you gonna try next? Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You're pointing the camera at her. Are you gonna do it? She's holding the camera. So. Am I gonna die? No. How you just watched me do it. I was perfectly fine. All you gotta do. Don't touch this. Put it in there. Get it as close to the water as you can without touching. That's all you gotta do. Oh, all you, you don't touch the water? Uh, well, if you touch the water, it'll it'll short and it draws a bunch of amperage, which is fine for a short period of time. But you know, you want to touch the water as little as possible. Remember, as close as you can without touching. If you touch, it's fine. I I did it multiple times. Melting steel. This sucker's water cool. Okay, that's good. <laughs> well, now you're the black sheep. You're the only one here who hasn't done it. I don't want to do it. I'll hold it. It's fun. Okay. Are you gonna Are you gonna do this? Or are you gonna start my engine? Oh, hold on. Can we? Uh, it's fun. I'm really scared. Okay. Don't be scared. No, I don't touch. What is gonna happen? I have to know what is gonna happen if it's. Nothing. I'll show you what happens if you touch the water. No, don't, 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 no. I'll just do it. Just cram it in there, it'll be fine. No. It, I mean, it'll draw a lot of amperage, it'll heat up the transformer, but yeah, it's not. Even... Oh my god. Go for it. Okay, that's good. Turn it off. Is it hot? Ah! It touched it. Go for it. It touched it'll it. It'll touch it for a little bit, that's fine. Just try not to stick it there. It's like. Oh. You see, there's a wind right now, but if you're real good, you can get like a three inch arc off that thing. Well, I'm not good. You can try this. This, this end you're holding right here is grounded. I, I probably still wouldn't touch it, but you know. Just... Oh, right there. And you want to do it. It doesn't really matter where. I can do it over here, but I want to kind of go with the wind. And if there's no wind, I want to do it with uh, verticality because, you know, the heat is going to make this arc kind of tend to rise. periods of time, no. <sighs> I wouldn't stay at it all day long, but you see this even glowed red hot there for a second. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, 120 water is not that conductive. Of course, the closest I got was an inch because I really didn't want to, you know, kind of touch the wires in the water because then you get a dead short. You have potentially unlimited amperage. You have a, in theory, you have a breaker in there and you have a transformer, but you have potentially unlimited amperage. You don't want to short that out. So the closest I got was an inch. It drew uh, no current on my uh, meter, so it is a six amp scale. So I think that's uh, that's pretty conclusive. As long as you don't have 3,000 volts, you'll be fine. I want to install their chicken. I want to go steal it. Microwave over transformers precariously balanced on bricks. Gets me subscribed. What if you die? Like you said, you put the camera in my hand, you get your car, you drive away, you never... My fingerprints will be on. Um, I don't think anybody gets some gloves, David. I just what is gonna go happen? Gloves. Oh, oh my. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. You are not putting that in water. Absolutely. No. Are what is gonna happen? Can you wear gloves? Do you have gloves? I would you have gloves. Please put them on. Go put them on. Here. No, Phelan. I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna tape off my ground here so that I don't accidentally just you know, bump hot or neutral into that because that wouldn't be good if you get short. Will you go get your gloves? Go get your gloves and not touch it with your fingers. It's more fun when I do it with my fingers. Okay, it's not in the cactus. Balan, you're getting gloves. Go get gloves. Oh, I'm gonna get bricks. Go get some <laughs> gloves and a brick. Gloves. 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 The thing is, as long as I don't touch anything that I shouldn't do, can we just have like safety precautions? What if I'm like too busy worrying? I don't like it. Texting. I could be dying right now. I'm not texting. <laughs>